we pray five times a day and we fast and during the month of Ramadan. We also say our prayers almost every day. We, we do it five times a day, so we praise our God every time. And we have to do these certain um, these certain rafats, like we have four to two. And for each one, if we don't do it, we, our prayer is not counted. And if we don't do it, the steps that we're supposed to do in our prayer, it's still not count, counted. And you have to be pure for it to do it. So the most important thing is hijab. Um, uh, we wear it when we go outside. It's to cover up and it's modest. Um, uh, a lot of people, do, peop, uh, a lot of people perceive it differently. Some people uh, think the hijab means to cover up from head to toe to cover the face. It, you know, it, it, everyone thinks of it differently. But hijab just means to cover up. To be modest in our clothing, we also have to pray five times a day, and we can also do extra prayers after those prayers. And we can, and we have to be especially clean and pure, and we have to respect our parents above all other people. We have to be respectful to anyone, and we have to watch our tongues, like no cursing, no bad words, and we have to make sure that whatever we do, we do it right from the first time, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have like sincerity in whatever we do, and not like. Person, just be good, just be a good person, not tell lies, not cheat, not do anything else. And it's a way that we keep connected with God, basically. And the food we eat is also very important because we can just go anywhere and pick out anything, but you gotta, you gotta look at the ingredients, you gotta make sure there's no gelatin or pork. Or People think of us as terrorists. So, um, that, like, some, like, sometimes in the movies, they get it from the movies, how, like, they, like, murder people. Mm, they think of us as mean, selfish people. They think we're every problem in the world, what we do is just the problem. Like, every time they would blame it on us. It could be us sometimes, and it could be somebody else. They think that we're, that um, all Muslims are from an, an Arab country or different country, and we don't know how to speak English or anything. And no, and we're not American at all. Anything like that. And we don't know, like we don't know English, so they give us sign language, like you know, go over there, away. We'll try to use hand gestures, like I don't know English. And they'll be, like, do you know? And like, can you please move and everything? It's like people think that automatically when you say Muslim, they think that everyone's Arab, which is wrong because there's diversity in Islam. That's what makes us such an open community, and they think because we're Arab, we can't speak English. One lady asked me on the bus, she was like, where are you from? And I was like, I was, I'm from America. She was like, no, where are you from? I was like, from America. She was like, no, seriously, where are you from? I was like, I was born here. And she was like, okay, then where are your parents from? And I told her, and then she was like, oh, so can they speak English? Like, they immediately said. And a lot of people think that, like, they ask me, like, where are you from? And I'm like, I was born in America. And then, and then I'm like, but my parents are originally from Palestine. They say, oh, you're from Palestine. They completely forget about the American part. Um, we are American citizens, most of us. People just don't understand that. And they think women are knowledgeable, that we don't seek knowledge, which is wrong, because um, every single day, it's, it's part of our life. God told us that every single day, we have to seek knowledge. From the cradle to the grave. Yeah, from the cradle to the grave. Every single day we have to seek knowledge, even if it's a small thing. People think that Islam oppresses women and that there's no equality, but they're wrong. There's equity. It's it's the same as saying that, okay, it's like saying, um, if I work hard all year and um, someone just sits down and they, and okay, and I'm working and they're working, but they're sitting and I'm working hard and I'm running around everywhere and I get and they get and we get the same pay it's not the same there's there should be equity not equality so there's a difference 7th century AD Islam gave women the right to be involved in politics the right to own her own, to earn and keep her own money Islam gave women the right to work outside of the home Islam gave women the right to own property Islam gave women the right to divorce Islam gave women the right to um, choose who 
choose who she marries. Islam gave women a whole bunch of rights that Western women acquired later in um, the 19th and 20th centuries, and we've had these rights since the 7th century AD, and it's just not acknowledged worldwide. And people think that we're all terrorists when a lot of us don't know what was going on at the time, because I didn't even turn one at that time.